So a little while ago, when I was focusing on the media module and all the cool things you could do to make it more of a digital asset management system, somebody asked me the question, well, can we get an idea of where a media item is used? And I said, no. Oh, what a dummy. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And the answer to the question is, well, yeah, because there's a module for that. I should have known. It's called the Entity Usage Module, and it's terrific. Now, it's still in beta for Drupal 10. They've got some things to work out. There's actually a bit of a bug in there if you try to do some updates, but out of the box, it works really, really well. So let's dive in and take a look. I've got a plain vanilla Drupal site here. It's got a few add-ons. It's got the Gin admin theme, the Gin toolbar. I've added Devel and I've added a bunch of test articles. I've also added a media field to the article content type so I can bring in different media from the media manager. I've only added one media item at this point, but that'll give you the idea. Here's the project page for the entity usage module. And as you can see, it does some really cool things. I'm using it for media, but of course it can track any entity reference field. Wow. Now there is one issue here on the main documentation page about scalability on really large sites. This could be a bit of a problem, but uh, you know, again, test it out to see what you think. There is also a bug report where right now, if you try and run the update, it may or may not fail. However, it's still really cool to see how it works. So heading back over to my site, I've installed it using Composer. I'm going to come down to Content Authoring and Entity Usage Settings. The only thing you have to do here is, well, choose which entities you want to track. And for me, with the digital asset management system idea, I really only want to track media at this point. You can see all of the different entity types that this can track, even taxonomy terms. And actually that one could really be helpful as well. Wow, this is super cool. Now, out of the box, again, all you've got to do is choose what entity you want to track. The rest of this is pretty much set up. Now, here's what's really cool. Out of the box, this is also going to track if you embed a media item using CK Editor. Wow, so it's not just a media field. If you've properly configured CK Editor to use the media manager, well, yeah, it covers that as well. HTML links, even Layout Builder are covered with this entity usage module. Fantastic. Let's take a look and see how it worked. So I'm going to head over to Content and I'm going to click on Media. Now, I've updated the Media view to include a link to the usage for any media I might have. I really like the fact that I can make this view look any way I want. Well, I'm going to click on Usage. This takes me to the edit page for the media item. There's a new usage tab. There is a patch being proposed that would actually add a usage link to the dropdown. In the meantime, again, I just put it here in the view. And here's everywhere my media item has been used. Wow, how terrific is that? A lot of enterprise clients that I teach want that kind of feedback on their media entity. And so sometimes they'll actually go to a digital asset management system instead of using the built-in media manager because of little things like that. Well, here's the good news. I still think you can build an amazing digital asset management system with contributed modules. For more information on that, you should head over to OS Training and take a look at, at our ultimate guide to media. It's a really great class that you can take at OS Training. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We release a new video every week. We'd love to have you subscribe. Join us each week. We'll see you next time.